If you like what you see, please subscribe and like James's channel. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon so you'll be notified of future train videos. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a 210 Decapod steam locomotive equipped with DCC and Wow Sound from Bachman. This is Frisco 1624. It's equipped with the doghouse on the tender. So we'll see what you get in this re-release from Bachman with upgraded guts, if you want to call it that, upgraded electronics with the Wow Sound decoder. So let's get started now. and pull off the lid Ugh, come on there we go and here's the locomotive in a bit of a hurry today so I'm kind of in the middle of prepping my home for sale which means doing some patchwork and paintwork to undo what my little children have done to the basement but so this won't be a full review but we'll show you what you get uh, inside this box here there's like a little secret doorway if you want to call it that a little false uh, back and that's where all your paperwork hangs out and there is a DCC quick start guide going over uh, DCS or DCC and wow sound and Exploded parts book diagram, you can order a Bachman catalog, etc. Warranty, all that information's inside. Now, the Bachman catalog just released for next year, so you can see what that is about um, by going on Bachman Train's website or ordering it online. Now that all that's out of the way, let's take a look at the loco. Got some instructions on here, lift bottom, insert sheet. Oh, okay, that's for what I already figured out there. But let's get into this box. Locomotive's already joined together inside, so we'll just set it out and get all situated and take a look. Now, when I got requests to review this locomotive, one of the questions is, has the gearing changed inside? And the answer is no, it's still got that kind of belt-driven gear. Uh, bell is in this position here, like it's being run. Smokestack, you get LED headlights. A lot of plumbing along the side, including crew access ladder to sand and boiler domes up here. And all the side rod activity on the drivers pistons general boiler plumbing on the rear as you can see kind of winded from doing some painting and stuff there's all the safety valves dynamo up top and more plumbing running down here and a handrail crew figures are installed in the cab Frisco's there along with bolt detail all around and a fixed cab roof vent as we continue down the locomotive on the tender you see the doghouse that's for crews to be inside there and handle some of their associated duties coal 1624 on the side more bolt detail along the side water hatch and rear light and a crew access ladder on the rear you can really see from this angle the bolt detail the rivet detail i should say on the locomotive here so there is a drop step and it's kind of like stuck down so I guess I'll fix that real quick. Sorry correction, not a drop step but a uh, tread plate. And I just fixed it so now it's kind of masking some of the wiring between the locomotive and the tender. Here's a good look at the locomotive from this angle and we'll just kind of go down the side here. Quick look in the other direction of the locomotive. As you can see a little different detail here. As you can see in this area especially. And another view on the side of this tender as well and a little better view of the back. Where you can see the ladder and the rear light, coupler cut lever, easy mate two couplers from Bachman with spring loaded detail and magnetic glad hand. 
So there's a coupler cup bar right there. And there's a view of the front in case you wanted to see that with the smoke box door. Headlight mounted with 1624 on both sides and under it. And some crew access ladders on the front along with coupler cut levers on the front and that very tiny little cow catcher there with a drop step on each side. All right, all fired up here and I'm just gonna follow the quick start guide and go over what functions they say are in it. So we'll start with zero, which is the dynamo. This is a blower on here, so or no, generator. So yeah, dynamo. Should turn on the headlight as well, and it does. Probably not seeing the headlight too well right now, but it does exist. Try to zoom in for you a little bit. Turn it off again. So you can definitely see that headlight. All right, bell. Sounds really good. Whistle along to does F2. Three is uh, short to is F3. F4, blow down. Now F5 is cylinder cocks. Probably going to get that when you move. There we go. Six is water fill. F seven dims the headlight. And F8, press twice, we'll go to sound mode, or four times I'll go to audio assist. So there's a, let's see, there's quite a few sounds on here. I'm just going to cover a few, but press uh, one time on F8 and you'll get mute and unmute. Press two and you'll rotate light and sound mode. And press four times, it enters audio assist. So. That's what you have there. Let me see if pressing twice goes to page two of sounds. Light mode active. Function page two. There we go. So now you got coupler close. Coupler release. Brake release. Uh, fly brakes, momentum, safety. And then you hit it again, you can get to function page three. Function page three. The grade cross crossing quill is F0 on this one. I was just hitting F0 once. All right, so there's something a little different here called ash pan cleaning. We'll listen to that. Okay, and then depot sounds. F6. Okay, that didn't really do anything. F7 layout sounds.
I think that's just a background sounds basically. Maybe I didn't give depot sounds enough time, but that's a basic rundown of all the sounds of the locomotive or most of the sounds. Um, on these wow sound equipped locomotives, it's kind of weird. There's like three pages that you have to go to. So you hit F8 twice really quick to get back to the original page or page two or page three. Function page one. So there I just hit F8 twice again. So now we're back to bell and whistle. All right, so that's enough of that. I know some people aren't familiar with wow sound, so I wanted to go over that really quickly. Let's look at slow speed control. We're just gonna roll right into it. So like I said, I'm on a short timetable with home repairs here. Okay, one, it's not moving. Two, we get underway. Okay, quite a stutter there. Three, moving a little better. Four, five, Due to the type of drive you have on this, you're going to have slower speed controls being a little bit of a, not as smooth as you can see, it's starting to smooth out there a little bit. And we'll go in reverse a little faster here, I'll just jump up to five and take over from there. Six, seven. Seems like 8 is where it almost smooths out completely. So, like I said, this drive has been associated with kind of a lurch at small, at slower speeds there. So, um, you've got like a rubber band drive inside. So, it's not just straight gears or anything like that. I would take it apart, but I took my older one apart and it was a nightmare. So I can't really show you that, especially with the time. So with that said, I guess I can check a pull test real quick just to see, you know, I want you guys to have a good picture here. So let's go ahead and reposition for that. All right, we're all hooked up, ready for pull test. getting above 1.9 there so approximately 30 regularly sized HO scale freight cars is what you're looking at this could pull um, if you're trying to do Frisco 1630 and you have a few passenger cars no big deal if you're trying to pull long freight you might want two of these or some auxiliary power of some sort like another locomotive of some sort all right guys let's uh, wrap this video up tried to kill as much light as I can I do have a window that no longer has a curtain down here but that is your headlight that's what you're looking at very very prototypical color temperature with this LED so I think it looks good uh, not super bright or anything but the appearance of the headlight is great alright so final thoughts on the locomotive just from my viewpoint uh, pretty nicely detailed pretty good price too if you look for some discounts out there because Bachman sometimes has some heavy discounts at online retailers and brick and mortar hobby shops sound is really good um, drive is gonna have some not very smooth movements at very very low speeds but once you get above speed step 10 or so you're good to go the detail is nice um, and you know for those that want Frisco 1630 which I've had a lot of people request that they re-release and ask me to ask them you can always change the last two numbers and get that decal job done you know maybe de super detail it up on your own to match the real thing but overall a uh, pull test is gonna pull about 30 cars maybe a little less so be aware of that if you're trying to do long freight contest with this well, I'm going to leave you with a run-by, and we will see you next time right here on my channel. Thanks for watching, and take care.